Hi, I'm Rob Gosman. Welcome to my shop. We're about to launch our new hand and power tool online workshop. This is where we will use both hand and power tools to build what I would consider to be house furniture. My son and my son-in-law, using two high-def cameras, will follow me through the process of using hand tools and power tools. Now, we will do some limited editing to avoid some of the repetitious procedures, but we guarantee that you will get all of those close-ups that are so important in order for you to learn the processes yourself. Now this will give you an opportunity from your living room to be schooled in the use of both hand tools and power tools that you can then take into your shop. Now speaking of shop, there is something that has to be considered the most important tool in the workshop and that is your bench. This is going to be the first project that we tackle. I want to show you the bench that we're going to build but before we do that I got to back up just a little bit. You need a bench to build a bench. So the first thing we're actually going to do is build something I call an assembly bench. It's made with very few tools using both plywood and MDF. When it's done, it will become your assembly bench. Now it's sitting here behind me. The top is made out of four pieces of MDF that are glued together. When it's done, it's heavy, stable, and becomes a great platform to work off of in building your premium bench. And when you're done that bench, of course, as I mentioned, this will become what you use to assemble. It's invaluable in my shop, especially in putting something together like a chest of drawers. You'll see more of that as we get into future episodes. Let me show you some of the features about the bench that we're going to build. I've used a lot of benches. I used to build them commercially. I have two in my shop, a little different style, very close, but not exactly similar. The one tail vise that I've settled on, I think is the easiest to build and the most serviceable, is something called a wagon wheel vise. It's nothing more than a slot in your bench that has a track so that this block of wood with these two dog holes using a single screw with a nut and a knuckle up here, simply slide it back, forward and back. The bench dogs pop up and down. It's like I said, easy to build. It can be done in an afternoon. What I like about it so much is that it supports the work all the way around so when your board is sitting there, instead of hanging over a big opening like it does on a traditional tail vise, it's at least got the support out here with a fairly small hole in the middle. Nothing terrible to worry about. Now, on the other end, we're going to use what I call a Scandinavian style shoulder vise. I've cut a lot of dovetails. This is the best way to support the work when you're doing that. There is no way for it to rack. Your board is held tight against the edge of the bench. As I mentioned, there's no racking whatsoever. It's held solid. It too is simple to build. It consists of the exact same hardware that we use on the opposite end on the tail vise. A single screw, a captive nut, uh, pardon me, a nut that is, is mortised into this arm, and then a uh, knuckle up here that allows some limited horizontal uh, movement, but no vertical drop. Now, as far as height and length, I'm going to build the bench a little bit longer than this one. This is the one that I've been using to travel with. So we'll go through and we'll talk about uh, how to tailor it to you, what height is going to be optimum, what length. We'll go through all of that part, all of those processes. And as I mentioned, we'll build it step by step. Now, this is going to broadcast three times a week. That means you will have three half hour episodes per week, 156 per year. That's a lot of learning. For those of you that are already members of our hand tool workshop, we've got a special worked out for you and we'll continue to broadcast that twice a week. So what you're looking at is a half hour episode five times a week if you want to be part of both memberships. Speaking of memberships, I'm the guy in front of the camera, I do the wood. Let me introduce you to my son-in-law Frick who's the mastermind behind the camera and he'll tell you how do you get started and all the particulars that you need in order to become a member. Frick, welcome. Good day. So, they want to become a member, what's the first thing they do? All they have to do is go to uh, www.robsworkshop.com and click the subscribe button that's located along the top. And the options for membership? There's two options uh, right now. You can either be a monthly member or they can pay by the year. So the yearly membership, you'll save 20%, it's $250 for the year or uh, $20 a month. $25 a month. $25 a month. Yeah, get that right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so they get three half hour episodes each month, or each week. 156 a year, that's a lot of information. What if they have questions? Well, there's a form on there, and this is something that has become very popular with our hand tool, uh, online hand tool workshop. So the form is uh, designed to either ask Rob questions about the procedures that you see on, the, on film, or if you have any questions about payments or about the website, you can ask me, or you can email me directly as well. Okay, and on that form, when you ask the questions, 
if we can't simply supply the answer, in other words, if it needs more detail, then before we film our next episode, we will go on camera and film the answer for you. In fact, we've got several of those stored in our hand tool workshop where we've gone in and somebody's asked a very good question that a lot of people would need to know, and we've stored that under the question and answer section. We'll do the exact same thing for the power tool, hand and power tool that we're about to start. Speaking of which, what if somebody's already a member of the hand tool? What can they have, what do they have to do in order to become both? We offer them a deal? Absolutely, yeah. There's an easy way to sign up. Uh, if you're already a member of the online hand tool workshop, you can become a member of both. Uh, monthly it's going to be $40, and uh, yearly I think it's 400, 400. 400 yeah. so you save even more. And uh, the great thing about that is that you'll end up getting an episode every single night of the week, Monday to Friday, uh, in one of the two hand or one of the two workshops. That's a lot of us. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> well, we welcome you. We hope this fills a void, uh, especially for those who can't get to classes or just either their schedule doesn't allow or where they live doesn't allow them the opportunity to get the kind of education that they're looking for. Uh, the bandwidth is there that we can do this. We enjoy it. Welcome, into our, welcome to our shop and we hope you enjoy the time you get to spend in your shop. See you soon.